Hi guys and welcome back. I've had loads of um, emails and, and sort of questions about my guitars and all the different guitars that I own. And when I'm, I'm at a guitar show, loads of people say, oh, do you own any other ones? So I've decided to do um, my guitar collection. I'm gonna run down every single guitar I've got. Now you may have seen some of them before in demos that I've done, um, or if you're new to this channel, you might not have seen any of them at all before. Uh, so yes, let's um, let, let let's start. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be quite long as this. So what I've decided to do split it up into two videos. So there'll be one this week and then one another week, which is probably next week when you'll see it. Anyway, this is part one. Let's get going. So we'll start with this one. This is um, this is my well, my leather bound Telecaster. It started out life as a Mexican classic fifties uh, series, and uh, I thought, well, that's not enough. I need to add something to this. So um, I took it to a place in Burley in the New Forest, and a guy there called John Turner. Um, it was many years ago. Was this? I've I've had the guitar probably. 18, 19 years now, and um, it's, it used to be it used to be a whitey, creamy sort of colour. Um, but yeah, uh, I took it to this uh, this guy John Turner in the New Forest, and I said, "Can you do this type of thing?" And I took a picture of where Waylon Jennings's guitar, and I left it with him for around six months. I never thought I'd see the guitar again, to be honest. Um, and then yeah, yeah, it, it came back. Um, looking like this and uh, it's, it's got my initials on the back and it's also got um, a signature by a very well-known um, guitar player Mr. Albert Lee he he actually signed the guitar for me when I went to see him uh, at the Tivoli Theatre in Wimborne um, a few years ago it's got stock pickups and um, it's got a four-way switch which I don't really use and if you notice it's got five strings <laughs> <laughs> Why has it got five strings? Because I use it on the Rolling Stones section of the guitar show and I thought I'd go quite authentic and um, tune it to an open G like, like Keith does. So, uh, so there we go, my leather bound Telecaster. Another Telecaster, now th this has become a real favourite of mine. I absolutely love this guitar. Um, it is so light. It, it weighs. I think I weighed it. It weighs 5.4 pounds. Almost floats away. Does this? I I love this guitar. Something rotten. Um, I'm a massive, massive Brad Paisley fan. Um, I think he's one of the best guitar players ever. I think he's amazing. Um, you can agree, agree with me, disagree with me. I don't care. I, lo I love him. I'm a Brad Paisley super fan. Sorry, Brad. <laughs> um, I won't be stalking you anytime soon. I just like your stuff. And you're playing, okay. Anyway, I've cleared that up. So yeah, this is uh, this is the Brad Paisley um, signature Telecaster, and I couldn't wait for this guitar to come in. Um, I ordered it from Absolute Music in Pool in, in Bournemouth, rather. And yeah, when it came through, I dashed on down. In fact, there's a video of me doing that on this channel. Um, but yeah, I, I I use it for pretty much everything um, else I do. Apart from, you know, that's not on the guitar show. I one thing I did do to it though, um, the neck was quite it was quite sticky. Um, it just kept shining up and being really sticky. So I uh, I've had a few attempts at sanding it down, and I've got it pretty much where I want it now. Um, so it's uh, it's getting nice and grubby now. Is that neck? But it feels it feels really nice. It's a road worn Telecaster. Um, and even more so now I've uh, taken loads of the lacquer off the neck but um, but yeah it's an amazing sounding guitar probably the probably the best Telecaster I've ever heard to be honest and played it's got a huge neck on there but love this one on to strats um, if you are a subscriber to this channel then you've seen this one already this is my parts of caster this is a, um, well, what is it, it's a Mexican neck, it's a Japanese body, no idea what the electrics are, I presume they're Japanese as well, who knows. Um, it's, it's quite a heavy, quite a heavy guitar but it's got an incredible sustain with it. Um, this is used for the Eric Clapton section, uh, George Harrison and Eric Clapton section of the, uh, of the guitar show. 
Um, yeah, just a standard strap. The trim doesn't work. I've, I've blocked all that off. Uh, it's in it's in pretty poor condition, which is why I bought it because I wanted it to look a little bit like um, Eric Clapton's Blackie. Um, it, it sounds amazing, does this guitar? Uh, it's not the nicest guitar to play, but it, it, it really does sound good. Great sustain there. The neck and the body work for some reason. So, uh, so yeah, that's. Uh, that's that. Massive, massive favourite of mine. I love this guitar. Uh, this is this is probably the nicest playing strap and sounding strap that, that I own. Um, it's a Mexican. It's probably needs to clean. <laughs> they all get cleaned before they go out on the road, so uh, they've only just come back um, from being out this this last week or so. So the. Yes, they've come back in a bit of a sweaty, dirty state, but they'll all get cleaned again before they go out. But yeah, it's a Mexican strap. Um, I bought this in 2004, I think, and I had to sell it. Again, if you subscribe to the channel, you've already seen a demo on this one. Uh, you know how good it sounds. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I sold it to my dad because um, I... I, I had to MOT a car unfortunately and I didn't have a lot of money back then and uh, I struggled and my dad gave me this um, back oh, a few years ago for my birthday so uh, it's, it's, it's been around for a while with this guitar it's unfortunately it's got a bit of a crack um, just by the top horn um, it's purely lacquer I've had it checked out it's nothing else it's just the lacquer that's gone so um, yeah Great, great playing strap, great sounding strap. Most people that pick this up want to run off with it because it plays so well. So yeah, love this guitar. I recently did a video on this guitar. Um, it, 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 this, this is kind of my number one, if you like. I got this guitar when I was 11 years old. My, uh, my parents bought me this for Christmas one year. And uh, this, is, this is my first real Fender, my first sort of, real proper guitar um, it's been with me through a lot uh, there's a lot of battle scars on this guitar um, it's had a lot changed it's had um, it's the council workers broom is this guitar uh, I think I said that in the demo that I did a few weeks ago but um, yeah it's had a lot changed on it and uh, more recently I just got it back from Robin at Absolute Music it had a, a you know, a pretty good overhaul on it. It's had new electrics, uh, new pots, new switches, um, it's had a new nut. Uh, yeah, what can I say about this guitar? It's been with me a long time. Um, it's, been, it's been through a lot with me and I guess it's going to go through a lot more with me because I'm never going to get rid of it. Uh, it's a 1975 uh, Japanese reissue Strat. And funny enough, I was looking in the music shop the other day and I found um, a 75, an original 75. Um, pretty much the same colour as this, but it had a hard tail. Um, and I would have been pretty tempted if it had had the trim on it. But uh, yeah, I'm, I, I am looking around for an original 75. Um, it's the year of my birth as well, so that's, that's why I kind of like the year 75. And this is a good guitar. So yeah, yeah, had it a long time. Be with me a long time as well to come. So, yes. Now I mentioned that um, my dad bought my red strat off me and then gave me it back. Well, this used to belong to my dad and he gave me this at the same time as well. This is uh, a Mexican 50s uh, precision bass and it's an absolute belter. It really is gorgeous. And the scratch plate has been changed. And in the guitar show, when we do the shadow section, um, I thought it'd look better with a sort of matching white pit guard, same as my other strap. I might change that. Um, I'm thinking of changing it to a tortoise guard. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, this is this is a really nice playing bass. It's lovely. It's got flat wounds on here at the moment. Um, I'll probably be changing those shortly um, again this had a bit of a this had a bit of a knock on it um, but we managed to get some similar similar sort of colour nail polish and uh, we 
covered that up, covered that scar up. But yeah, it's, um, it's a great base is this, absolutely love it. And it's Fiesta Red. Okay, the last of the fenders, um, moving on to this little guy. This is uh, FM61SE in Sunburst. Um, they don't make these anymore, which is a shame because this one's broken. <laughs> Um, if I could get hold of another one, I would do. The neck join has just gone a little bit and the action, well, you could drive a bus under it. It's, uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's not that playable anymore and I've looked into getting it repaired and it's not really worth it, to be honest. Um, I changed the tuners on here a few years ago, um, but it, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. I've had it a long time, um, but yeah. I'm going to do a little dance for you then. You don't see that. Moving on to my crimson guitars now. This is um, this is what I've called Little Red. <laughs> uh, I was doing a lot of demos at the time um, up at Crimson Guitars, and this little thing was on a on a stand, just sat there looking really lonely, and I kept picking it up and playing it, and I thought, well, that's really nice. Really nice guitar this is. Uh, I, I sort of grew, grew, grew quite fond of it and uh, me and Ben had a chat and I, I said, you know what Ben, this, this needs to come out on the road. It needs to be it needs to be used and it needs to be seen. He's lonely sat there. So Little Red hit the road and he's, he's been on the guitar show now for probably 18 months with us. Um, and he does, he does the Johnny B. Good part at the end of the night. Um, it's kind of a cross sound wise between I'd say a Les Paul and a, a 339, something like that. It's a, it's a really nice guitar. Uh, it's got it's got Wizard pickups in there, and uh, it's actually a prototype of their PAF Hollow model. Um, it's yeah, love this one. It's really light as well. My blue crimson guitar now. This is a um, this is a Descendant. This is a drop top. It's, it's stunning is this, they actually built this for me. They, uh, they, they, they were really kind in saying, we need to build you a guitar, um, what, what type of thing do you want? So obviously, I, I love maple fingerboards, so I just love them, I think they're great. I, I don't dislike rosewood, um, but given the choice, um, I'm a maple kind of guy, I just love maple. It's, it's, got, um, it's got lock in, are these dispersal machine heads on there? Um, it's actually got Valenti pickups in here. Now I've done a demo on this guitar as well on this channel. Um, well, I can say a little bit more about this, but unfortunately, um, it's one of those guitars. It's a little bit like my car. People just seem to want to run into it constantly. Um, I never seem to do much damage to my own gear. It's other people that do damage to it. The first gig I, um, I took this on, somebody turned round with their guitar and, and put a chunk in it there. And the rest of them, I've no idea where they came from, but there's, uh, yeah, there's a few little little chips and dings on it. But, you know, it's a gigging guitar. It's out there, it's on the road, it's been seen, uh, it's been played, and in a few years I expect it's gonna look a lot worse. But, you know, guitars that, are, um, that have got chunks and scratches and all sorts, happen to them I guess that it means that you know the loved and the played and and that's what guitars are about you know I do I, I, I guess I'm a collector of guitars but I'm not precious about them you know they need to be played they need to be out there they need to be heard and um, yeah it's a good solid gigging guitar that's my excuse I don't like this guitar. <laughs> I, well, I don't dis. I don't like it. I don't. Li oh, I don't know what I think of this guitar. Um, I've specifically got it for the guitar show. I use it on uh, two minutes eleven seconds of um, Purple Haze. <laughs> That's the only reason I've got it. Um, I don't think I'd own a V for any other reason apart from I need one for the guitar show. I, I used to own, I used to have a 79 Flying V and I've had a couple of other Epiphone Flying Vs. Um, they're not really my thing. But it, it does look cool. 
it does look cool. Um, it's actually not painted, it's got a transfer on there. Um, had that put on uh, about four years ago uh, to give it the Hendrix vibe. Um, it did have some Dimasio pickups in there, but they they went bust on me a few uh, a few months ago. So the good guys at Crimson have put me some new pickups in there, and it, uh, it 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 sings now. It sounds it does sound good to be honest. Um, just not sure I'm a V kind of person. Don't know. What do you think? You like V's? Mm. My other Epiphone is this. Um, this is a limited edition Epiphone custom shop. Now you may see in a video um, I did a few weeks ago uh, when I first got this and I was I was restringing it and bringing it back to life again. Uh, I've gigged it since then and it's, it's, had, a, it's had a terrible accident. Um, the, not, the switch has been broken off but as I use it on Hotel California I guess it doesn't really matter too much because they're just all in the down position. It's going to stop it breaking off again, isn't it, if I don't replace it. It still works, but it just came off. Okay, so, yeah, my Epiphone double neck. It weighs an absolute ton, but it sounds killer. It's amazing, is this guitar. Um, perfect for, for Hotel California. Um, couldn't really justify spending thousands on a Gibson because I use it on one song. But, uh, but it's still quite a special one anyway. They're quite rare of these. You don't see too many of the Epiphone ones in white. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a nice one. Good one to hang on to, I think, is this one. Looks cool as well. Last of my Epiphones is this little devil. This is, um, this is a Les Paul um, ukulele. Uh, I don't play ukulele. I got this bought for Christmas. Um, I think it's really, really cute. I love it. I, I keep saying one day I'm going to learn to play ukulele and, uh, and, and, and gig it. I'm not sure what I'm going to gig it on. I don't know. Maybe it would be a George Formby tribute or something. Or, or not. Probably. Not. No. No, I'm not going to do that. 